Russian authorities can no longer hide failures in import substitution. Secretary of the Russian Security Council Nikolai Patrushev complained that Russian companies are in no hurry to buy domestic technologies and equipment. At the same time, he confessed to a shortage of scientists. Russian companies continue to focus on the purchase of already manufactured foreign goods using the mechanism of parallel imports. The shortage of scientific and engineering specialists remains an obstacle to achieving technological independence. Nikolai Patrushev, secretary of the Russian Security Council from the Telegram channel Moscow Times. The Russian Federation disappeared from the list of world leading scientific powers 30 years ago. Experts say attempts to modernize Russian science failed after the start of Russia's full-scale invasion of Ukraine. The achievements of previous years were finally reversed. Modern science, if it is production, is very much dependent on reagents, information, equipment, the ability to exchange materials with colleagues and the ability to communicate with Western colleagues, to go to conferences and so on. All this, which does not seem to be a direct object of sanctions, all this is necessary for our work. And all this, it turns out, suffers very much in the new conditions. European and U.S. sanctions against the aggressor state have made it virtually impossible to develop science in the Federation. Russian scientists are excluded from the international scientific process. The country has lost access to modern research methods and technologies and to foreign equipment. Mass immigration complicated the matter. One of the scientists who spoke to us on condition of anonymity cited not only fears of repression or civic position, but also pure pragmatism as the motives for scientists leaving the country after the outbreak of the war. Under sanctions, it is much more difficult to do science, participate in international collaborations, publish in scientific journals and get access to equipment, from the publication in Nova Gazeta Europe. According to Yakov Krasyuk, a professor at Israeli Technion University, the fastest and most massive brain drain from Russia since the early 1990s is now taking place. Russian scientists are facing a choice – immigrate, stay and support the regime or be repressed for their political stance. <laughs> All scientists who actively cooperated with the West and traveled to conferences, so we know how the Western world lives and in the same way the West knew that Russia was, let's say, a democratic or more or less free society. When there is the Internet, radio, television, WhatsApp and people travel, they know everything. I would say that I won't communicate or discuss anything, just will not talk with those people, scientists from Russia who support or even justify this war. According to calculations by journalists of the Novaya Gazeta Europe, during two years of Russia's full-scale war against Ukraine, about 2,500 scientists have left the Federation. The greatest outflow of researchers was felt by the capital city universities, such as Moscow State University, Skolkovo and Moscow Institute of Physics and Technology, reported by Anastasia Tarnavska, Yulia Hranovska, UATV News.